Hello friends. Welcome back to our channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed our previous videos, then you can find links in the description box. And if you don't want to miss any informative videos in future, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification, when we post new video on the channel. This is a short video on, 4 to 20 mA conversion formulas, and its examples. In this video, you will learn voltage to current conversion formula, and an example to convert voltage into current. Secondly, you will learn current to voltage conversion formula, and an example to convert current into voltage. And lastly, you will learn current to process variable conversion formula, an example to convert current into process variable. First of all, let's start with voltage to current conversion formula and its example. As you can see, this is a standard formula to convert voltage into current. In this equation, I is the current and V is the voltage. V min is the lower range value of respective voltage signal and Vmax is the upper range value of respective voltage signal. Let's understand this formula by one example. For example, an analog output card gives an output voltage of 3.5 volts, and its overall range is 0 to 5 volts. Calculate the equivalent 4 to 20 mA current value in this example. First of all, let's write it down data, which is already given in this example. In this example, V is 3.5 volts, V max is the 5 volts, and V min is the 0 volts. Now, put all these values into this equation. And do simple math calculation. When you do math calculation, you will get 15.2 mA. In other words, when voltage is 3.5 volts, the current value is 15.2 mA. In this section, you will learn about current to voltage conversion formula and its example. As you can see, this is a standard formula to convert current into voltage. In this equation, I is the current and V is the voltage. V min is the lower range value of respective voltage signal and V max is the upper range value of respective voltage signal. Let's understand this formula by one example. For example, a transmitter output range is 15.7 mA and its output range is 4 to 20 mA. Calculate equivalent voltage. And consider 0 to 5 volt as the output voltage range. First of all, let's write it down data, which is already given in this example. In this example, I is 15.7 mA, Vmax is the 5 volts, and Vmin is the 0 volts. Now, put all these values into this equation. And do simple math calculation. When you do math calculation, you will get 3.66 volts. In other words, when current is 15.7 mA, the voltage value is 3.66 volts. In this last section, you will learn how to find process variable value when current value is given in the example. As you can see, this is a standard formula to convert current into process variable. In this equation, I is the current. PV min is the lower range value of respective process variable range. And PV max is the upper range value of respective process variable range. Let's understand this formula by one example. A flow transmitter's output current is 14.5 mA, and its range is 0 to 1200 cubic meters per hour. In this example, calculate the equivalent flow rate value. First of all, let's write it down data, which is already given in this example. In this example, I is 14.5 mA, PV max is the 1200 cubic meters per hour, and PV min is the 0 cubic meters per hour. Now, put all these values into this equation. And do simple math calculation. When you do math calculation, 
you will get 787.5 cubic meters per hour. In other words, when current is 14.5 milliamperes, the process variable value is 787.5 M3 per hour. Thank you friends for watching this video. If you like our content, then please hit the like button. It motivates us to make more informative videos like this in future. And please share this informative video with your friends.